back to the bat server. So, if you remember last time, we were left on a cliffhanger, stranded in the middle of the ocean, with no end in sight. Well, actually, an end in sight that was really far away. So, we've traveled... What, let's see... Five, probably a good six or seven thousand blocks away from our jungle base on boat. And we have reached what I think are the two mountains here. And this is the mountains. So in the book it says, came across two mountains somewhere. Mountain peaks. Between the peaks ran a narrow river. So that's what we're looking for now. And we made a map of the area and traveled up the river a ways. By the way, it turns out that your, your little player guy doesn't show up on a map until you're close enough. So now, okay, it's right, right like there. We have to remember where the X is. Or was okay so right here uh, your player just doesn't show up until you're like close enough so that's sort of interesting that's why he wasn't showing up before all right so I'm guessing we have to go down this narrow river let's see if we can do this on boat I oh no 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 that is not a good start what is this boat doing I'm only pressing I'm only pressing forward right now okay that was stupid let's let's try once more and then we're probably just gonna have to walk it Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, perfect. The skill, okay. Oh, awesome. This must be where they camped. All right, let's slow down for nice, no, stop, 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 stop. Perfect, okay. Hop out, and we're in the middle of the water. Ah, uh, just love boat mechanics. Oh, yeah. What is this? All right, let's read, let's read on. It might tell us. Although I don't think so, because I read through it. We pulled the boats up on a bank and burned a tree to light the night. Hold on. Let's see if we go up here, if we see a burning tree. It may be that I stayed in the area too long and it, like, finished burning. Because... <laughs> oh, no, 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 the burnt tree. That's the burnt tree. Okay, got it, got it. I was thinking, like, he lit it uh, to show us which direction they went, but no. Okay. Uh... We burnt a tree. Where is it? This, this. To scare the creepers away. Okay. Our right. sun came back up and we left the boats and climbed over the ridge with ladders. On the other side of the ridge, we found another river, which we followed further inland, making our way along the banks by foot. Okay, so I'm guessing this river. That makes sense. Oh, what's that? Oh, they even have ladders going down on the. <laughs> yep. Made good use of those ladders. Okay. Uh, we can probably take another boat. We didn't grab the other one that we had. It was our last boat. Alright. Boat mechanics, I sort of wish they worked the way they did before, where you didn't have to use your mouse to steer. This is kind of annoying. Although I've gotten pretty used to it. Oh, 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 you see that in the distance? Hold up. Oh. Easy. Then it says, I think, whoops, they came to the place of a... Uh, Oak wood and birch wood grew right on the side of the river, and we buried the treasure there and left as we had come taking all our boats save one. And basically they said, I'll never tell a soul more accurate where we buried the treasure. Let ye who seeks it dig up the hole for us. Luckily, <laughs> it appears as though uh, it's grown, so we don't need much help finding it. It's pretty obvious where it is. So remember, this is going to be the living portal, and it should take us to our soul. If Minecraft characters have souls. I wonder... Let's see. If I'm Link, my, my soul should be pretty good, right? He's a good guy, right? So... Oh, this is fancy. Hey, look! It's a lot like the portal I built. And there are diamond blocks here. I'm about to take those. There's no turning back after you step through this portal. Not before the foe is dead. Oh, okay. Alright, uh... I'm debating whether to take these diamond and gold <laughs> blocks. Because on the one hand, I mean, obviously they belong to him, like the narrator. But I don't think the narrator wants to have to come all the way back here. I'm going to take them. I'm taking the, at least the, the diamonds. The gold we have plenty of, so we don't need that. But I'll like put these at spawn or something for him. All right. Here goes. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. The... TNT trap, you've got to be kidding me. 
Oh boy, what was that? What exploded? Oh, oh, oh. I bet you it was just, uh... Oh great, we're about to fight a witch. Oh! Shoot. This is terrible already. <laughs> we just got poisoned for 20 seconds. Alright, we're gonna, uh... We're gonna just wait here for a little sec. And, uh, I'm gonna wait till this poison wears off. Alright, poison wore off. I drank a speed potion. Let's uh, also eat a notch apple. Look at how fast that region is. That's why I love notch apples. Alright, so we are. Wait a minute. Isn't this supposed to be our soul? Our soul looks an awful lot like a cave. <gasps> there it is! The dragon egg. Oh, and here's Hero Brian! Boy, that was an intense battle, and he dropped all of his armor. Wait a minute. Gonna, we've got to keep this armor. Golden sword. Ah, uh, what do we get rid of? Probably speed potions. Ooh, some pretty good armor. Uh, poppies, we don't need. A peony, we don't need that. Alright, did we get everything? We're gonna save this. This is Hero Brian's armor. It's gotta have, like, special stuff. There's another ender chest at the stronghold. Oh! Oh, good, good, yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, let's grab this. Yeah, because we don't wanna, we don't wanna go dying <laughs> with the dragon egg. That is awesome. We finally found the dragon egg. So this was... I think this should be the end of the prank. Now we get to find out who the uh, pranker was. That's going to be my favorite part. I still... I honestly have no clue. Absolutely no clue. Hero Brian has been defeated. The hero's journey is almost at its end. Almost. The hero has overcome obstacles and pirates. But with the aid of many friends, he was able to walk the road all the way to its end and face the foe alone as must be done now the hero only needs to return the treasure and the first chapter the first chapter of this story will be in at an end but the pirates are still on the server there are two chapters left before this story ends oh so we don't get to figure out who it is a new hero must rise to carry the burden on to the second chapter Sorry, you don't get to know my name until the end. Yeah, chapter three. All right. Keth, thank you for setting up the server where I can make stories like this. They're trivial, but it means a lot to me. Take those gold and diamond blocks from the portal on your way out. Oh, nice. I, I already did. Uh, don't have to tell me twice or once, I guess. Uh, way back out. Wait, I, I messed something. On your way out, I don't, I don't want to have to come all the way back for them. Yeah. As a matter of little interest, the egg has been hidden under, oh, hidden in a chest under April's, under April's base this whole time. Break this block. Just as water brought you here, let it lead you home. Can I break this block too? Oh, that is awesome. So that's gonna, that concludes our chapter of the pirate prank. And now, someone else is going to have to pick up where we left off and try to get rid of the pirates who are still on our server. Very interesting. That was that was an amazing prank. Probably the best prank I've ever seen anyone do in Minecraft. Uh, the the storyline was awesome. It was like just difficult enough to where there were parts that like stumped me, but at the same time, there was never a part which uh, we couldn't get which is pretty cool because that's not easy to do at all. I mean, if you think about it, because you're going to have to hide things like the clues when we have to find everything to build the living portal and stuff like that. Uh, whoops, fell down. Yeah, that was a really awesome job, and thank you whoever did this. And I can't wait to find out who you are. Oh my gosh. But I'm going to collect up these gold blocks. Oh, man, it's starting to rain. And uh, we're going to head back to spawn, or somewhere. Okay, so we made it back safely. I just decided to kill myself because that would have been a really long time getting back. And here we go. Dragon Egg is back where it belongs. I forgot to bring glass. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we can get like a security system installed here or something so that it doesn't get stolen again. But until then, I'm sure it'll be safe behind this glass. And uh, again, amazing prank. I had a ton of fun going through it, and the storyline was really awesome. I think what we're going to do now 
is some fun stuff with TNT. I sort of want to make a game at spawn where you can... Basically, you, you have a chance of either getting killed by TNT or getting something really good. So we might try to make something like that. I think B00 did that once, like a version of that on the uh, Minecraft server. But I want to see if I can do something similar. So let's try to make that. Okay, this took way longer than I expected, and it's not really done yet either, but this is the sort of Russian roulette thing, so what's going to happen is you're going to put a diamond in here. I'll show you this working in a second. I haven't tested it yet, so there's a decent chance that this entire thing is going to blow up, but it took me like two hours, I'd say, to do this redstone. There's just a lot of, a lot of really weird stuff that I had to account for, like trying to collect the items and getting the player out of here and stuff like that but the way it works is that you want the player to be sitting here and we're gonna fill this with TNT and diamonds and then so there's a chance that the TNT is gonna come out and kill the player and there's a chance that diamond is gonna come out and the player gets to keep the diamond so the way this works is diamond goes there well I guess we can just test it out right but hold on first Let's close this up just in case some water spills everywhere. That happened too many times for me to admit. So let's just close that up. Uh, oh, goodness. Yeah, just ignore. Pretend that this redstone isn't here. Don't like look at it and judge me. <laughs> uh huh. That should do it. And. Fill this up. I just want to make sure that if water, whoops, if water spills, I don't want it to go all through here. And it'll sort of go through there, won't it? All right, there we go. And it'll go through there too. Good enough. So let's test this thing out. Let's put some TNT, and we won't use diamonds because I'm not 100% sure this is going to work. But let's use, I don't know, redstone. Okay, so. We're going to pretend that a block of redstone is a diamond. So we put that in there. You see this opens up. Oh, by the way, these cobblestone half slabs, those are just here in case the water spills out to catch it so it doesn't go into the redstone. Uh, these won't be here. But yeah, that comes down. So now you can walk in. So you've paid your diamond. You press this button, and this is what's going to start it. Now there's actually going to be two... Oh, <laughs> before I go in here, you should... All Definitely put all your stuff away in this chest and set your spawn at the bed. So let's do that. That would have been bad. Uh, potentially bad. But let's see. TNT, redstone. So it's actually going to dispense twice. So it's going to dispense once. It's going to wait to see if there's TNT. So if TNT gets dispensed and it blows up, obviously you're going to die. So it has to wait for that. And then... It's going to dispense another one, and then at the end of that, this hopper is going to turn on, and it's going to collect the items that are potentially here. We can't have the hopper on all the time, or else it'll pick up the diamonds as they fall down instead of the player. So it only activates at the end after you've either picked up the diamonds or died. So, good chance we're going to die here. But let's see how this works. Water turns on. Oh, we got TNT the first time. Ah... Uh... And look, there's the redstone that dispensed the second time. Oh, that's interesting. It landed on the edge. Whoa. Hmm. Okay, so that there's a little bug right there already. Oh, and look. Oh, we were Steve for a second. Oh, wait. Did the redstone? Hold on. Let's go check and see if the redstone is still there. Uh, let's get these so we can get back out. Ooh. Uh... Oh, it is. Yes. Awesome. So it worked. That actually worked surprisingly well. I'm pretty sure that that was perfect. So we paid our diamond. Well, you know, our diamond. And now all we have to do is replace these with actual diamonds. So let's see. Uh, let's grab this ender chest. I'm going to have an ender chest by the bed as well. Uh, the bed probably isn't a permanent location, but just for now. And we can grab our diamonds. Now let's see. Here's the deal. We gotta figure out the ratio of diamonds to TNT in here. Uh, let's do something for now. Like. 
would half and half be? Uh, that wouldn't be great. I'm going to have to figure it out. It, it'll probably be something like 2 to 3 ratio. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to figure out the probabilities on camera in my head, but whatever. It it'll be something like this. So, let's play uh <laughs> let's play one more time because it's pretty fun. And let's use an actual diamond this time to pay so you get an idea of what will happen. Put our diamond in. It opens up so we can walk in. Oh, right. There should be a quartz slab here so you can't just walk in without the diamond. And then we hit this. Come on. Oh, diamond. Oh, and we actually picked it up before it reached the hopper. I wonder if that's... Ah, oh, and TNT. <laughs> no. Oh, and there's another thing that I forgot to account for. When you die, it's actually going to go off to the side. Hmm. All right, that's interesting. Uh, How to fix that might be tough, actually. It might just be that we have to put like hoppers all over the floor here but it's interesting that the TNT or we picked up the diamond I think before it got to the hopper so that could be a really nice way of uh, avoiding having to power all these hoppers that will have to be under here to collect the items uh, and obviously if you accidentally bring something into here and you die you're gonna have to go around to the chest that has the uh, drops from in here but that's the way it's going to work. So it's it's pretty cool. I like the way it works so far. And the floor, as you can see, is going to be dark oak. Walls are going to be quartz. And then I'm going to use gold as decoration block. It's a very sort of bright and happy theme, <laughs> considering <laughs> that you go in here and have a good chance of dying. Or not a good chance. You have a good chance of getting of getting lots of diamonds and a very small, very small chance of dying. Yeah, that's the way it works. So, and we also got a prime real estate uh, piece right here behind the dojo and near the general store. This is the, the up-and-coming part of town since it's got uh, the uh, town hall, which is coming along nicely, by the way. This is going to look so amazing when it's done. So, that's going to have to do it for this episode. I spent way too long fooling around with redstone right there. Probably horrible redstone at that. I mean, it's not neat at all. <laughs> I was using dirt blocks and cobblestone. Oh, yeah, and look, that's open, too. We're going to have to fix up that. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably cover this up for next time. Maybe try to compact it a little bit, but I'm pretty I'm pretty fed up with this redstone right now. It was way, too, way more difficult than it should have been. But, uh, yeah, by, by next episode, or by the end of next episode, this shop will be fully functional and ready for customers so i'm excited and that's gonna be it for this episode i hope you enjoyed watching and i'll see you next time